guys. Um, I want to show you a cool little tool I got here. It's a uh, let's see. Let's see. What is so yeah, in one of my other previous videos, you uh, saw it had a leaking injector. So I wanted to buy a uh, fuel injector uh, pulsing tool or test tool. Um, so I can run some tests on this thing. So, so what this is supposed to do? This is a, one of my older like EV uh, one style injectors, but it's designed to open and close the fuel injector and pulse it like a, like your car is running. So it looks like there's four manual modes. One is continually on you know, constant spray, and then you have the, the engine pulsing, you know, to simulate the engine as it's operating. So, yeah, because I, actually, I'm, I'm doing an EV14 injection upgrade on my early Bronco. So I'm taking my old EV6 that I, I think are leaking. Um, you know, like when the car stops, I think the, the fuel is leaking out of the injector. So, um, I decided just to do an EV14 uh, injector upgrade from a LS2 engine. But... All right, let's get this thing fired up. Oh, I also got uh, I got a uh, Jetronic connector, and that's to fit these older style injectors, um, like that. And I also got the newer style US car, US car injector, and that's for the uh, newer EV6 style and uh, EV14. The newer style injectors use this connector. So I'm gonna create a. I mean, I could also just put this right on the actual injector like that. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to crimp on some uh, the male version of this connector here. I'm not even sure what it's called. That way I can actually interchange them. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could permanently modify them, this thing, but like that, you know, I'm permanently welded on there. But I think what I want to do is because eventually I might make like a four, four or eight uh, injector test stand. So I don't want to permanently modify this thing. I'm just gonna gonna crimp on some connectors here. But uh, yeah, let's try this thing out. All right, guys, got the tips on, got them soldered. Still pretty hot, so I'm gonna take my. Still not pretty hot. Something like that. Yeah. Just polarity doesn't really matter that much. Then um, uh, right here. Right here. There we go. So then I have it also hooked up to my sorry guys, I have it hooked up to my uh, I have a 12 volt power supply in there. Uh, I'm gonna be using that one right there, not this one right here. So um uh, that's cool. Take a look. This is the first time I even fired up, so I don't even know like what to expect here. So mode set. Okay, so one is short, two is medium. Three is long, four is continuous, so it continues to just be open. So I'm not going to do this very long because I don't have any fuel going through here to give you a. Because you don't want to actually be pulsing this thing because the fuel actually uh, cools off the injector, so you don't want to be doing this too long without fuel going through it because it will overheat the coil and burn out the coil. But uh, so I'm going to do mode set one. So you can see every time it pulses. Why can't I change the mode? I guess I didn't even read the instructions, so let me uh, take the power off here. Turn it back on. Let's go to this mode set four. Okay, there you go. Hear that? Maybe you can see the tip, the pintle going in or not, maybe. All right, let's try. Okay, let me just turn it off again. Okay, that's weird. I can't change the mode. 
All right, let's turn it off again. Come on. That's weird. Oh, because I just go through a, a pulse, it looks like. Every time I press it, it goes through a pulse. Yeah, one thing I guess I don't like is I can't change the mode so far with it being powered on. What's that thing for? Put the rubber thing there, I don't know what that's for. Oh, well, I guess I'll figure that out later. Like if there's maybe some extra external AC adapter, I guess we could put an extra wire in there. Um, okay, let's go to mode one here. Oh, I mess. All right, I meant to go to mode four here. Okay, power off, power back on. Mode four should just be continuous. That's weird. I, I, I don't know. This is a continuous mode. Hmm. Guess I'm wrong. Guess mode four is just continuous. Alright, so I actually got this because I'm actually going to be uh, doing some ultrasonic cleaning and I wanted to be able to pulse these injectors while it's sitting in the, in the, the cleaning solution. But also I want to do a rever reverse flush and uh, you know while this thing is pulsing. So, alright, this thing was 35 bucks on Amazon. Put a link on it. Um, not bad, pretty cool. So, cool, it came in a little case. I'm going to put my little connectors that I made in there for that. US car and uh, my Jetronic connector. Cool. I was actually going to build one of these. I was going to solder one together. I was going to get you a, uh, you can actually get a manual. I was going to actually make my manual, manual pulser. Then I found this online for 35 bucks. I was like, man. The parts to build one cost the same as just as to buy one. So, alright guys, cool. Alright, next video is coming up. I've got some EV14 injectors in. I'm going to clean them, backflow them, uh, ultrasonic clean them. i got ultra new ultrasonic cleaner coming in too, and I'll show you that. But, uh, cool, fuel injection pulsing tool.